Today we've got another story of how hardware vendors screw over their customers, but this one has a happy ending thanks to open source. Hey guys, it's Josh from the WL Tech Blog. In this video, we're going to talk about a brand called Neos who sold moderately priced IP cameras in Europe. They were riding the same business model as all these other brands where you sell a camera for a relatively affordable price and tie it to an app and cloud subscription to be able to do more than basic bare minimum features. But somehow, while dozens, maybe hundreds of other brands are doing this successfully, Neos found a way to screw it up and now their customers are paying the price. One of the concepts I talk about a lot on this channel is ownership. I'm not going to get into the same depth as Richard Stallman today, but suffice to say that every computing device that you have is controlled by someone, and unless you go out of your way, that someone isn't you. That goes for your PC, your laptop, tablet, phone, gadgets of all types, and of course your cheap IP cameras. Now a few days ago, Neos emailed their customers with a brief statement announcing the end of service life for their devices. So what exactly happened? Neos hasn't presented any details outside of a few facts. Number one, your camera mostly stops working November 19, 2024. Number two, you're not entitled to a refund of any sort. Number three, you could still use your camera as a basic loop recording device if you put an SD card in it, but you can't access or manage it any other way than popping the SD card out to look at the files. And number four, officially, you should just dispose of your camera, preferably at an electronics recycling facility where it'll get shipped off to a third world country with no real environmental guidelines, ground up into dust, and then poured into the ocean instead of just tossing it into your own bin. Now looking at Google Play, the app for these devices has the 100K plus installs badge, so it's not some trivial number of people who are affected by this although I haven't found any real indication of that actual number. From the information we do have though, it's a lot of people and a lot of cameras that are destined for the trash. With the information you've been given by Neos, these devices have become little more than a paperweight. But hey, I did say there was a happy ending for the story, didn't I? Well, owners of these cams may or may not know it, but it's actually a trivially modified version of the WiseCam version 2, which is what this is. That camera is a well-supported device in the Thingino open source project. I made a standalone video introducing Thingino, but in a nutshell, Thingino is an open source firmware replacement for many popular IP cameras that gives you local control and ownership of your data. We don't have a cloud service. We don't collect your data. You can use standard protocols to view and manage your devices, and you can interface with and participate in the project directly if you want to. Once you're using Thingino, you can choose cameras based on their price and hardware features rather than worrying about apps and ecosystems. Much like cordless power tool vendors, after you buy your first one with a battery and a charger, you're not really going to buy from a second brand without a really good reason. But any Thingino camera can have the same features as any other, as long as the hardware provides it, of course. You may find a bag of these Neos cams at a garage sale somewhere for nearly free, and in that case, go ahead and pick them up if you're going to run Thingino, but otherwise, check out my videos for better options that are also easy to install. If you're one of the unlucky folks who do have these cameras, I invite you to try my No Tools Required Installer to take back ownership of your camera. Just follow the link to the Wise V2 camera video and make sure to read the README in the download location as any updates to the process will be posted there. And of course, if you run into any trouble or you're interested in gadget hacking, cameras, open source, and other fun tech stuff, come see us on the Hackers Homestead Discord channel. Links down there. I'm working on several more videos on this and other topics, and I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you enjoy this content. Until the next video, stay fresh, cheese bags.